Hey, good afternoon. It's Eric Paulson from 95.7 Big FM, statetrunktour.com, and we are celebrating 100 years of nice with Sorens Ford, with 100 years, 100 miles, doing road trips to explore different areas of Wisconsin and look at Wisconsin history, because Sorens is a big part of that history. And today we're going to Racine in this. It's a Ford Transit. It can be a cargo van, a passenger van, or both. And uh, I'm gonna be driving this baby from Brookfield to Racine. We're gonna check out several things, including Windpoint Lighthouse, some history uh, museums and other areas downtown, including John Dillinger's gun, which he used to rob a bank in Racine, which is now the Racine Art Museum. All that and more is coming right up. By the way, I look inside this thing. There is space like you wouldn't believe in here. I said it was 15 passenger. And it's modular too. You can pull these seats in and out. You can basically use it for cargo or passenger space. I'm telling you something, man. If I had a large, large family, I could fit the Osmonds in this thing. So we're going to head out. This thing drives really smooth for a van, you know, the old Econolines. Far cry from that. Look at how much space there is in this thing, including ceiling space. I can practically stand up straight in this thing. You know what's not an issue in this Ford Transit? Claustrophobia. Racine's such an easy drive from Milwaukee. It's minutes off I-94, and among other things, it's the Kringle capital of the country, owing to its strong Danish heritage. Right downtown, along Main Street, is Monument Square, which was originally called Haymarket Square, and we have the monument in question right here, which is a Civil War monument, but there's a lot of history in this square, definitely worth checking out. Most of it dates back to the 19th century, right before Soren started. Here's another look at the monument. Looks like it's coming out of my head. Monument Square helps mark downtown Racine, and right across is the Art Museum, and a piece of notorious history. One of the cool contemporary things to check out along Main Street in Racine is the Racine Art Museum. They have all kinds of fantastic exhibits on display, some from all over the world, some historic. But what's really historic about this building is this is the building John Dillinger and his gang robbed in 1933. We're going to go see the gun he used at the police department of all places. So just down the street, you can find more history on Racine and Dillinger's robbery right here, the Racine Police Department headquarters. And hey, for once I'm voluntarily going into a police station. So inside Racine's Police Department headquarters, I'm talking quietly out loud. They have a mini museum of all kinds, but what's really cool, it's right here, the whole display from the robbery that day, including Yes, Dillinger's gun. A walk down historic 6th Street in Racine reveals a lot of cool old school storefronts. That looks like it hasn't changed in half a century, at least. But this is the city with a ton of history because malted milk was invented here. The garbage disposal was invented here. They even manufactured a car here for a while called the Mitchell. We're talking 1910 or so. The kind of cars you had to crank start. And, you know, the 1910s. That's 100 years ago. That's when Soren started. Oh, and speaking of old school, we're gonna go to the QP for a burger. That place dates back to the 20s. The QP is the perfect place for traditional burgers and malts the way you remember them. It's a Racine favorite. They have a lot of dolls too for some reason. Another cool place to check out is this firehouse museum. Of course, once a firehouse. It was built in 1881. Used until 1967, and inside there's a ton of cool old fire trucks and other equipment. Just south of downtown, the headquarters of SC Johnson offers more history and cool architecture from Frank Lloyd Wright. And just south of Racine's downtown is the headquarters of SC Johnson and Company, one of the big corporations headquartered in Racine. Frank Lloyd Wright has a huge history here. He designed several of their signature buildings. That includes the Golden Rondell right here, and right over here, the Johnson Wax Research Tower, a groundbreaking structure. Used for research, used for office space, used for testing. If you ever use Pledge, Raid, it was tested in that building. Another beautiful piece of history in Racine, just north of Racine in Wind Point, is the Wind Point Lighthouse. It's one of the oldest and tallest lighthouses on the Great Lakes. Opened in 1880. 
The view of the lake on a nice day is very nice too. On a clear day, the light from Wind Point Lighthouse can be seen 19 miles out over the lake. If you walk towards the shore, you can see the fuel house right here, the foghorn house there, well, just some nice gardens. And of course, then you can get on the beach. You know, I didn't even get into the whole Danish piece of Racine where it's the Kringle capital of the world because frankly if I started eating Kringle I'd still be eating Kringle right now. Lots to see in Racine. Downtown is beautiful. There's a lot of great shops. The lakefront, the harbor is fantastic and there's a lot of great history. Whether you want to look at Monument Square, go back to the 1880s, whether you want to go to the Racine Art Museum, see great art or the place John Dillinger and his gang robbed in the 30s. You want to see a gun that was used in there, that's at the Racine Police Station. You want to experience some great history in their historical museum. I mean, again, they invented malted milk there. They invented the garbage disposal there. J.I. Case is there. So many major corporations are there. And you can check out Frank Lloyd Wright Architecture at the S.C. Johnson campus. You can arrange for group tours and all kinds of terrific things to check out in Racine. And then, of course, just north of town, the beautiful Wind Point Lighthouse. So that's just another thing you can check out in southeastern Wisconsin where there's some great history. And Soren's Ford, of course, celebrating 100 years, wants to celebrate that history. Thanks again to them for loaning me this transit. This thing is fun. The only drawback, you might have four rows of backseat drivers because it holds 15 people. But anyway, we'll be back for another 100 years, 100 miles tour. I'm Eric Paulson. Thanks for watching. Find more road trips and looks at Wisconsin history as Soren's Ford celebrates 100 years of nice. Go to Soren's100.com, StateTrunkTour.com, or my page at 957BigFM.com, keyword Eric.